Hello, welcome to a Cardboard Geek Double Header. Uh, we have Judge Red the Cursed Earth unboxing, and we have uh, Judge Red Elder Skelter Dark Judges. Cursed Earth by uh, Osprey Games, from a design by Pierre Sylvester, originally Lost Expedition, has been reskinned. Matter of taste, which one you prefer? Judge Red Helter Skelter Dark Judges, bringing solo rules and the iconic Dark Judges to Helter Skelter. Um, this is a bit of an add-on, because I wasn't intending to get this originally, but some nice person on board game trading actually pointed out it was a rather good price of £7.50. They have from Osprey, they may still have copies of Osprey. It's worth a look. Um, so we'll start we'll immediately with Cursed Earth, based on, obviously, the infamous uh, graphic novel story, or as it originally was running the um, actual 2008 We have a rule book, fairly functional. I have actually opened up the cards previously because I'm a little fumble finger today. I would have really extended out the actual um, video. Um, artwork very much up. And we have a little strip at the front. A little box marked field rations. It's empty. As a result, uh, I believe it's for these. Probably the disappointing element because these are rather basic, to put it bluntly. I may look at pimping them up. I think the word would be functional, to put it bluntly. Um... And we have the encounter cards, uh, all the artwork, very, very nice. Um, typical what you would expect of Judge Dredd, if you're ever a fan, very much in keeping. And uh, they've all got little bits and pieces. Uh, I can't remember exactly what they are. I think blue is optional. Yellow, uh, red is you must do, and red is you must do one. I think. Not sure. Uh, uh, and the protagonists. Now, this is cooperative, uh, also solo and competitive. And if you're competitive, is two uh, two player. One will be playing me, machine, the satellite, warlock satellite, and the disciple with the sisters of death up there, um, hunting down Max Normal in order to prevent him having the cure for block mania. Um, and uh, Judge Anderson, Judge Dredd and Judge Giant for the judges, both represented by pretty normal meeples. And we have location cards. Uh, for the price, it looks very, very good. Uh, as I said, I'm not 100% happy with the uh, tokens, but they're tokens, they're functional. Uh, if I really get bothered about it, I'll create my own uh, and uh, do something with that. Uh, we've got all the locations there, and the final location, obviously, Max Normal. The only normal person, 8 million people, every single one of them potentially a perp. And that one is Judge Dredd the Cursed Earth, and rattling through that one. As I say, it was easier for me to take the wrappers off, because I, I have manipulation problems sometimes, and you would have been sat here watching me struggling with my, uh, uh, with all the shrink wrap and everything. Which is so necessary. We all love um, <sighs> sleeving our cards. I don't think any of us particularly like actually having to remove them from the shrink wrap. And get that down, a nice tight fit. Uh, so if you miss me wielding Excalibur, which you'll have seen on the, the uh, clip video, I think at the start, not clip video, the picture. And so we move on to Helter Skelter. This is, uh, uh, previously it was Wildlands, then they did Judge Dredd Helter Skelter. I've done a video on that. I've written some solo rules for this myself based on these solo rules, which are on Board Game Geek under Tibalt Stormcrow. If you actually look under the entry on Board Game Geek, you can find them. Bit homebrew, I've tried them out. They may or may not need a little bit of um, tinkering with. Um, if you do spot them on Board Game Geek and you have tinkers for them and you think it works, feel free. I don't, I'm not proud. Um, I'm not going to be like offended if someone says I don't think that works because um, really with these there is no official rules at the moment and we all home rule every now and then anyway I think it works and it allows you to play all the factions solo rules on this only allow you to I understand to play the Dark Judges an awesome uh, team nonetheless but you know at the same time we have the shield token sword them because they're armoured they take a bit more repounding. This team only has four male models, but they are tough because they are the Dark Judges. I've got some nice art cards here for them, which are, as I said, I pre-punched these. They're pre-opened these, not pre-punched. 
Those ones are oversized and they represent the uh, Dark Judges, Judge Fire, uh, Judge Fear. Used to have a nice t-shirt of uh, f Dread punching through his helmet, always gazing to the fist of Dread. Um, Judge Mortis, Judge Dread's second in command. Uh, they got all the little powers actually underneath. Uh, fear, fire being the weakest by far. Uh, paralyzing aura for fear. Move actions cost two cards. Ooh. Yeah, slows you down a bit. And, and finally, Cloud of Decay. Characters in the same space take one damage at the start of their turn unless they play a deflect or um, a sigh. Okay. And Judge Death. Now, on the back of these, it uh, adds a few little extra bits and pieces on them for rules. And the solo play reference guide and the general reference guide for the rules for them as per the standard game. And then we have two decks here. We have the solo deck, the AI. Now my solo rules use these decks for each one. I said I think it works and it's adjustable. So but this generally you run down what they do, so that's that they move, they fire. And going down and my understanding is their defence is you flip them and if they have the defence at the top, you know, it will defend them. If not, hard luck they take damage or lose a point of armour. Um so the artwork very nice. I do like the double S's there. Uh, anyone recalling Judge Death does recall he has a bit of a sibilant hiss. And uh, the general card deck for playing them as a faction. Obviously you will be one down, but again, you are the Dark Judges. So the Dark Judges invading Mega City to bring their form of justice where they believe that since all crime... Uh, is committed by the living, therefore living is itself a crime, therefore the sentence is death. Pleasant individuals. And uh, that's pretty much it, really. So, that's... The Cursed Earth. Oh, I've not shown the fig... I'm careless. We have the figures, don't we? Judge Death. Oops, let's get him into... So we'll focus that. These are all pre-inked. They all look very nice. I think they're very nice painted. They're quite chunky. Good solid. And well made. And mortise there. And judge fire. And uh, finally, judge fear. With bat-winged, uh, crailed helmet. And uh, yeah, so again, judge dread the cursed earth. Uh... Uh, Judge Dread, the Dark Judges for Helter Skelter. And with that, this is Cardboard Geek. Subscribe or like. And um, goodbye. <laughs>